STEM-related opportunities were available to you when you were my age? There was never anybody who said, oh, you can't do physics, you're a girl. Uh, I noticed that there was something not quite as I expected when I took the subject uh, between 16 and 18, because my class was full of boys and there were two girls. Oh. And that was the first time that I noticed, oh, it's not even numbers, as it had been prior to that. With jobs, uh, if I wanted to go any higher, I soon realised that there were not many women in those roles. So there were probably lots of messages to my kind of unconscious mind at that time that I could do it, but only to a certain level. So looking at your experience in the industry, what changes have you seen, if any? Uh, there's more women. Yeah. There's more women that I'm shoulder to shoulder with. There are more women in management positions so I can look up and see, ah, oh, I can get there. In a lot of the outreach that I've done, I've spoken with uh, school age children and particularly girls and some have said that they've been under a lot of pressure from their female friends not to study STEM subjects because they're not cool or it's, oh, not, really? what, it's not what girls do. Um, have you experienced any of that at, at school or with your friends? I do have a good group of friends okay. and a fair lot of them too are interested in the sciences but you know a fair lot of them also have other interests too but yeah. it doesn't really matter because okay. you know everything is <laughs> whatever you want to do. I guess something else I'd love to ask is what are you excited about for the future? Last year I was appointed in the uh, Department of Physics and I was the first woman, the first academic female in 2017. And these things, these statistics still exist in many places around the world. There are still conferences with all male speaker lineups. These are the things I want to change. And the more women that I have coming up through the ranks, the more choice I'll have. What advice do you have for me when I'm talking to 16 year old girls about encouraging them to go into STEM subjects. Sharing your experiences, especially how you began, that's always, okay. that's something that I always found very valuable, especially when I was in America and I heard all these amazing people talking. They talked about their life journeys from like the very beginning. Mm -hmm. They basically talked about those deciding moments okay. that really um, kicked them off into whatever path they went into and just how they, um, yeah, the opportunities and how to really grab a hold of, you know, okay. those opportunities. And I think uh, touching on the mentoring part, I think that is something, it's a very generous act and it's very, very helpful to young girls. So is it your plan to go to university? Uh, I think I will be a lifelong learner. So university definitely seems like the place to go and I guess we'll see what goes from there. And are you thinking of taking a STEM subject? Definitely. Okay. I think STEM is where you get the answers and mm. where you find more questions and it's just, I think it's a very fulfilling, fulfilling um, place to be. So I would like to have a career in that. Great. <laughs> It'll be great to have you on board. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.